Okay, today is Tuesday, October 8th. This is a meeting of the Accushionate Board of Selectmen. Um, all rise, please, for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. First item on the agenda is approval of the consent agenda and the minutes of August 6th and August 27th, Mr. 2019. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of regular session August 6th and August 27th, 2019 as presented. And I'll, I'll second. 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 Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? That passes. On the consent agenda, we're we approving that as well. Mm -hmm. Including the motion. Okay. Uh, next on the agenda, meeting mail. Uh, we have some letters of resignation from uh, different uh, committees in town. We've got, and I'll deal with them as a group. Um, letter of resignation from the beautification committee, Barbara Dupuy, uh, from the housing authority, Lawrence Mulvey, and from the council on aging, Marie Hardy. And just general comment, I, yeah, I know a lot of these people have been involved in uh, volunteering uh, to make this town, to, to support this town and support government in this town for uh, for a long time. Mr. Mulvey was a, was a past selectman in the town of Cushion, so just want to acknowledge them all and uh, thank them for the service to the community and, um, and wish them well in the future, so. I'll second that. All right. Do we need to vote these? No. No. No, you don't um, have to do that, but you have to appoint. appoint we've got a we've got an appointment. That was the next. Okay, joint, so we've got we a. Um, well, we, we have to have a joint meeting for the housing authority. That one needs to be taken We've got a council on aging. I'm sorry, I'm number four. Letter requesting to be appointed to the council on aging. Nope. Before that, Mr. Housing Authority Larry Mulvey. Number two. Number two. Yeah, I did. I did the resignation. But we have to. Hold oh, we must a schedule a joint meeting. Yes. Do we want to schedule that? So we've got a candidate interested in taking his spot. Do we want to schedule that or now? Or there's an individual that's interested in Mr. Mulvey's spot already at the Housing Authority. Mm -hmm. We normally give 30 we, days uh, grace period for an opportunity for anybody from the public. Yeah, we should put it out. Yeah. Okay. Letter accept a letter of interest. Yeah. Until either we want to do it at the 29th meeting or we want to do it. Yeah, let's go right further. I like the idea of giving people some time. 30 days. Yeah, let's go. Let's give people some time to anybody interested. It's not, for the record, it's not that the Board of Selectmen don't like any candidate that no. may have been put forth so far. It's just to give the community an opportunity that if somebody yeah. else would like to apply, mm -hmm. the board has, you know, has the option of choosing. Agreed. Yeah, we don't we don't want it to appear like we're uh, we're trying to force somebody in as well. And so anybody in the community that would be interested in a position on the housing authority. Uh, submit a letter uh, to Mrs. Board Leonard, uh, you know, indicating your interest, and there'll be a joint meeting between the Board of Selectmen and the uh, Housing Authority to appoint a candidate, and that is an elected position. So, but, uh, but we've got the authority to appoint someone until the next election. Until the, the next election. So. Okay, that is okay. correct. And it needs to be, um, I think, by the law, it needs to be a. Um, quorum for both bodies of government doing the appointment. So the Housing Authority needs to have, I think, three members here, as well as two Board of Selectmen in order for it to be official meeting. So let's figure that out. Let's, let's, let's wait and we'll schedule that meeting. Um, item four in the meeting mail, we've got a letter requesting to be appointed to the Council on Aging. Uh, Ms. Carol Simkin is asking to be appointed to the vacancy. Long time Cushnet resident. I think she's lived in town since the 70s, according to her letter. and. Uh, well, has asked to be appoint, appointed to fill the vacancy that we now have with the resignation of Marie Hardy. Uh, Ms. Okay, Mr. Chairman, I move to appoint Ms. Carol Simkin to the Council on Aging Board for the term to expire May 1st, 2021, as presented. Sir, second? I will gladly second it. I didn't know if we wanted to wait the 30 day period for that as well. Well, we're just talking about a joint meeting. Um, you don't have to have a joint meeting with the Council on No, I know we don't. So I'm just saying it's an appointment overall, so. I just Thank don't want to so be much. hypocritical on either side. I don't want anybody to be able to criticize that we did it for the Council on Aging. We're not doing it. If there's a candidate for the Housing Authority, we can't do it now anyway. Right now, there's no candidate for housing. So, so it depends on your preference, Mr. Chairman, on how you want to handle it. Um, 
what is I, I have I have no problem but it, we did just speak on the 30-day period to give other people in the community so it can be the only thing with the difference between the positions that one's elected this one's appointed so okay. I, well, I that's your position then we'll vote um, I'll second I, well, it's, the, it's, the, it's the whatever the, group the wants board's to do. comfortable yeah then I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable okay. as well so motion so to a, motion to appoint Carol Simkin second yeah mm -hmm. further discussion all in favor aye. aye any opposed all right congratulations to carol simkin now a member of the, of the council on Asian. she's very involved with the council on Asian, from what i've read already so good, good fit um our appointment hey roger how are you good appointment uh, 505 is a transfer package store all alcohol license from gonzo beverages but the town line zinc uh representing the we've got representatives of the seller and the buyer and they're represented by council as well did you want to make a presentation to the board we've got a very detailed package yeah if only of information we no, i don't want to talk i'm seeing i'm getting i'm getting that <laughs> i don't think you, we need to unless there's no. any, any questions you have no i nothing really i just no. okay any questions from anyone we'll get a very detailed package with a lot That's of information correct. we found one middle road as we discussed earlier so. <laughs> So I've been going to the establishment for uh, a long time now. I grew up right around the corner from the establishment. Um, I've known Mr. Goncalves for many years since he's taken ownership of it, and he's, uh, he's been a phenomenal owner of the package store, keeps his property very clean, um, and offers great products. I hope that you'll continue that tradition mm -hmm. of keeping the property clean and offering great sure. products to our community. Come. And that's it. Cool. Yeah. Anything else? Just a motion. Is there a motion to approve the requested transfer of the all alcohol license? That's I'll make requested. a motion to approve the transfer of the package store all alcohol beverage license from Gonz Gonzales Beverages DBA Town Liquors Manuel Gonzales Manager to Town Wines Inc. Antonio Caldera Manager with pledge of li license as presented. And I'll second that motion. For the discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? That passive. Congratulations. 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 Thank, you. Thank you. Easy. Easy. That's yeah. right. You're going to be missed, Manny. <laughs> well, they'll be around. Yeah. You'll know? be a for a little while. Huh? <laughs> yeah, too. <laughs> and the town was good to thank, me. So. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. First item under old business uh, is the ECA solar tax agreement approval. Um, so sure. Uh, I can talk I know that, um, so we had an agreement, we had ECA come in, um, this was in regards to the um, net solar credits, um, and we were waiting for them to get back to us on a change in the term um, to make it just um, 20 years, um, as we can't contract up for longer than that. Um, so I, I was waiting to hear back from them, and finally they got back to me, and um, they wanted to let us know that they had some complications with permitting from the town of Canton. Um, as you might remember, that's where um, the solar facility solar would be, facility. that we would yep. be getting the credits mm -hmm. through. Um, <coughs> so um, as a result of the, the permitting issues, the facility there is smaller. So they wanted to let us know that from that facility, we wouldn't be getting the same amount of production as um, they had originally planned with us. Um, but they do have another, um, another location that's coming up. Um, they said probably around this late spring, early summer. Um, where we would be able to get the rest of the production and um, they so they had like a guaranteed minimum production yep. sort of thing. Yeah. so they're they're sending me over um, updated language for that yeah. and um, the representative said he could he could come back just to you know discuss this with you if you felt um, you wanted him to come back but once I get that updated language I will make sure you guys have it and um, I just wanted to give you an update because so it's we probably kind of shouldn't take any action tonight we don't have to no. take action tonight okay. nope. Um, but I, I did. But con sure conceptually, I think we were all on board with the agreement. We the presentation. Did we? Did we? I don't. Did we vote in the past? Yeah, yeah. we mm -hmm. did vote. So yeah. the vote's no, done. It's yes. just now right. it's changing. There's a slight okay. change in it. So we again, we should, according to them, we should be up to the production that um, they discussed when they came out um, by summer. Um, okay. So let's get. We just get waiting for the revised agreement to yes. sign off on. Mm -hmm. yes. okay. So the percentages in the new agreement may change down to fifteen percent because of the capacity. Right. Um, so the, the only thing, see, I, it's in here as the commercial operations date is when they start this. Mm -hmm. This program would start. So did we? 
ever get a deadline from them on when they were anticipating the commercial operation date because it's a big difference from when the facility is ready to go from when they actually plug into the grid and they, that that be the commercial operational day. It's not when the grid is built, it's when they're allowed to tie into the, the property's not built. Mm -hmm. It's when they tie into the grid is their operational day. That's what they consider operational day. So mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't remember ever saying that, well, if it's if it falls, like if you can't be at an operational day more than three years, we're out. I don't know if that's in the agreement. I forget in the agreement, but I'm it's something sure you might want to revisit. Yep. So when they send S up the um, the new language, I'll make sure to check for that as well. Yeah. Um, I think and I'll send it down to all of you so you can look through it. Just because sure. if it's if if it happens to get stretched out too mm -hmm. far, Mr. Chairman, um, we run the risk that we're not saving that fifty thousand bucks a year mm -hmm. now, like we it was presented to us. Right. And if somebody else comes to the board and advances to the board and says, "Hey, I can do the deal," I get a better deal. I'll yeah. give you twenty five percent off. Whatever yeah. it may be, and we right. our operational date is effective tomorrow. Yep. You know, right. the board well, may change that, built, but we don't want to be bound to this. Yeah. So we actually, it's what might be giving us a little opportunity to take a look at the okay. agreement yeah. again and and the confines of that agreement Absolutely. and make sure that we might want to bring that language out if it's not yeah. there. Yeah. Would so, you want to have the representative come to a future meeting? Let's or? just get, get the revised agreement over. That might that might be very clear in the agreement. It's probably, sure. it's to probably see, in there. To I don't see think which properties, back, necessarily. if the other property is already functioning and they have an extra spare capacity. So they might have 5 or 10% capacity somewhere else that's spare. Mm -hmm. And now we're only buying 10 from this facility, so that'll change the equation a little bit for yeah. us. Because some now, so we'll say it's 20% and 10% is coming from another one. If it was 50 grand, they can offer us 25 grand a year savings, and we might just be patient and wait for the other 10%. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So it's yeah. something yeah. for the board yeah. to consider that moving yeah. forward. Yeah. You don't want to lock into something in a, for a 20 year agreement, and these people aren't coming to us five years down the road saying, All right, we're operational now. Right. Well, that's right. kind of crazy. Right. A better deal could, like Mr. Cabral stated, a better deal could come along in five years. Who knows where technology yeah. is going to bring us when it comes to energy? All right, let's see. Let's see how quickly they can get us to revise you know, with proposed changes from what we uh, what we approved. All right, uh, item two under old business, civil service letter, Chief. Um, they're presenting on that, I believe. Welcome, Chief Gallagher. Thank yeah. you. Good, good evening, Thank gentlemen. Ms. Hebert, Ms. Leonard. Uh, so you'll recall that at a, the last town meeting there was an article submitted jointly by the Board of Selectmen and the Firefighters Union requesting uh, special legislation to remove future hires at the fight of full-time hires from the fire department from the regulations of civil service uh, that was given that was passed uh, uh, overwhelmingly at town meeting uh, went to uh, the legislature has gone through the committee process uh, and uh, my understanding is that there's uh, been some communication uh, between our elected officials at the state level and uh, here at uh, the town level uh, regarding the issue of veterans preference. Uh, when we would go through civil service, uh, that process would uh, take into consideration multiple factors including the test uh, experience, whether the person is paramedic or not, and also uh, points were added in status given to veterans. Uh, where we are going under, to see- Under civil service. Under civil service, 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 correct. Okay. So when we would call for the list, that was all done, and those candidates were ranked. Uh, where we will be stepping out of civil service for future hires, the chairs of the respective House and Senate committee that are looking at this legislation uh, are asking for a commitment from the town that we would consider uh, veteran status among the applicants that apply for uh, the full-time position. Is that uh, typical in other towns that have taken the positions out of civil service? Yes. That's typical mm -hmm. yes. standard. Okay. So the, the Massachusetts general law gives the fire chief of communities that have adopted that section of the law uh, the authority of, of uh, hiring. Uh, so the position uh, will be filled I, I'm here today to tell you that uh, for qualified candidates that step forward uh, who are veterans that they would be given every consideration uh, in, in a little more in recognition of their uh, service to our country. So uh, you have that as a, uh, a public statement from me as the appointing authority. Uh, we will have it codified in a policy for the department uh, for my successor. Uh, and I asked today for a vote by the board endorsing 
this action so that we can then communicate with the state legislature and let them know that uh, we've moved in that direction. Okay. Gentlemen? I couldn't agree more. Right. Um, you know, when it comes to our veterans, and if they're qualified for the position and they serve this great nation of us, and they should get a line, you know, a spot at the front of the line, right? Great. Um, can we get a motion? <coughs> first on the Excuse me. Concept, I think we've got the language on the motion and the. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you I'm going to right, sure. right now. I, I just want to say second, right? I move, <laughs> I move the board uh, approve <coughs> the, the established veterans preference in full-time department hiring as a fire EMS department policy as presented. And I'll second that motion. Further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you, Chief. Thank you, sir. <coughs> I, if that could be communicated to uh, Representative uh, Roderick, yes. uh, Chris uh, Hendricks. Chris Hendricks, I'm sorry. As quickly as possible, yeah. we're, uh, we're in, in need of filling that position. <coughs> we're just waiting for the legislature and the governor to act as well. Great, thank you. I'll send it both to Hendricks and Montague. Right, I think we need to send it to Montague's office, office as well, because we did the first original letters to both offices, Senator and mm -hmm. Representative. So. Excellent. Ms. Heber, do you want me to stick around for the P, uh, for um, JTs? Um, if you'd like to. Okay. We'll go with yeah. this next on the agenda. Oh, okay. right. next. Okay. Yeah, we'll so on. item item three under old business, we get a request for a live entertainment license. Um, three month for a three month trial period is what proposed JTs Pub. I know we discussed this some time ago. Mr. DeRose, were you here? At the yes, we did. We I did. Think we I issued them a one day. I thought we had done it. And I, my, but I, apparently we did. We we agreed to. I guess let the chiefs consider it and, and bring it back. Um, and I remember there was a lot of discussion. I remember there was some concern about you know the, the location of that of that of that business and what what type of music would be appropriate in there. But I guess um, you and the police chief both have decided to give them the opportunity on a trial basis. Uh, we have uh, previously we were asked to uh, render to you an opinion about live entertainment there and. Chief Alves and I uh, spent considerable amount of time discussing it, and it, that would have been a departure from uh, the previous establishments that were there. Uh, it is a very small parking lot, as you know. It, the parking lot houses tenants and uh, spots for the other business that is there as well. Uh, and we thought it was in the best interest not to recommend to you uh, a live music uh, license. We had a great deal of conversation with Ms. Hebert over this. Uh, the, re the conversation that the Chief and I and Ms. Hebert had centered on past performance. We now have a track record with a new owner. Uh, it is a good one. Uh, my department has not been called there for any uh, for any. The ownership meeting. changed about a year ago, year and yes. a half, is that? Yeah. A little over a year ago. Okay. Uh, the police chief indicated that uh, what calls uh, came from there were minor in nature and not really reflective of the establishment. Uh, and to the best of my knowledge, uh, going through Ms. Leonard, uh, your office hasn't been uh, inundated with complaints about the business either. So they've proven themselves to be, uh, uh, to date, a good neighbor. Uh, chief Alves and I uh, thought that in light of this new request, a 90-day temporary permit uh, that would get the establishment through the holidays, uh, which would allow them to bring in entertainment. They're talking about acoustic in nature, uh, although there's no restrictions on that. Uh, it's and we, three p. I think they're looking for three pieces, whatever those. Right. Three but the, the the time frame would allow uh, input from the neighborhood if there's any uh, complaints, uh, complaints to your office or to our departments. Either we would be able then to reassess and come back after 90 days and consider what to do. Uh, based on performance. So uh, the one item in there that I requested uh, was a termination of the music at midnight. That would make it consistent with the temporary use permits that we give to the VFW and the American Legion, which are also situated in neighborhoods uh, when they have live entertainment. They need to come through the fire department uh, because by law they should have fire sprinklers, but they are exempt uh, based on a whole host of conditions first of which is a permit issued each time there's going to be live entertainment at those facilities. And we shut it off at midnight. So to be consistent with that uh, termination time, uh, given the residential nature of the neighborhood, we thought that would be uh, a beneficial act. Okay. Gentlemen, comments on the request? No. 
Yeah, I think uh, I think the last time we talked about this, Mr. Chairman, we, we did have those reservations of the neighbors um, with the chief, along with both chiefs, Fire Chief Gallagher and, and Chief Alves. And I think that we've talked about some restrictions on the license. So I'm, I'm glad to see that the two chiefs, you know, through common sense and common knowledge, they put that together and said, hey, you know what, midnight, 90 days, I think it's a good policy to, 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 to enact right away. Um, give them the benefit of the doubt. And if, you know, if, again, if they, they go there and, and do visits and things aren't right, and uh, so they have a seating amount, they can only allow 65, 70 people. 58. 58. 58. <clears throat> so they'll do routine inspections on a night that they, without them being advertised, and one of our firemen will go over and, you know, maybe knock on the door or walk through the door and do a, you know, account. And if they're in violation, that would be a violation, right? And the chief. Particularly would, the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. Hint. Uh, never not uh, to uh, do that. Uh, <laughs> to go and make sure know. that we uh, have the it appropriate a number of busy people night out. inside of buildings. Busy yeah. night out. So, you know, I think it's a good idea. I mean, 12 o'clock, I mean, I, you know, it's late. Midnight's pretty late. So, you know, if that's, if that's, we're going to act upon the advisement of the two chiefs, then, we'll, then I'll take that and run with it. But, um, you know, you were generous on the time because I was thinking 11 when, about a year ago, whenever we talked about it, is giving them a, and let them prove themselves that way, right? But sure. if midnight seems to be a, a good time for the board to approve, then let's do it for the 90 day period. And do we, do we have to say that it's only up to, because we can't put restrictions on it, because I talked about restrictions, so up to a three man band only. So they ain't got seven guys, uh, girls jumping around in there with bongos and whatever else is going on. There's some yeah. pretty big acoustic people. Well, it just says three. Up. It yeah. says uh, three. instrumental music, music three, three. Vocal karaoke, music, vocal three music, and, yeah. okay. trivia. So we, we do can, have a list on that. We can put we, that yeah. on it. Say, it doesn't say it's acoustic only. It doesn't say. It says instrumental music, three pieces. Right. Vocal music, three pieces. So. so you got the guy jamming away with his electric guitar at 11. 59. Well, Chief Alvis was actually hoping, hoping, hoping that Leonard Skinner would show up. And, <laughs> and, 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 and he's hoping. you would be in the front. Acoustic music? Well, of course sure it can, can be lowly, can be amplified. Of course you can. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So let them put any restriction they want on the license. I, I'm, you know, I'm okay I, I, with I've got, got reservations. Yeah. I got reservations, but I'm, I'm willing to willing to give them a shot. Yeah, I'm I'm willing willing we do as well. Give them the location. We do as well, Mr. Chairman. We want to, you know, the 90 day period will. Uh, allow us to see if it was a slippery slope. You let three, you know, if you don't specify, do you end up with... They bring in three drummers. Someone with an amplifier, uh, you know, that's going right. to really create right. a lot of noise. And the neighbors are going to let us know. And remember, we have There's neighbors no on all sides of the building and above, yeah, which right. is Correct. different from the VFW and the American yeah. Legion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's why we thought the 90 day period was... Uh, and the new owners are responsible. The They're very people. responsible. Neighbors yeah. above a captive, though, aren't they? They're, uh, no. The building's owned by the pub, isn't it? That's correct. Yes. So they're they people that own the business, they're tenants of the business. And I'm not sure they live there, though. I no, they, they don't. No, no, no I'm saying the tenants, the tenants pay rent to correct. the people that own the... So he's saying right. the tenants aren't going to give any problem to the tenants owners because quiet. they won't have a place to live. Yes. What yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm, I'm and, not saying directly, but yeah. Just for the record, the, uh, the owner is a firefighter in the town of Stoughton, formerly of uh, Fairhaven. He is a very good person. Uh, and he would be. He has been very receptive to uh, any input that Chief Alves and I have made. Okay. So sure. we have, we're All dealing right. with a, a good person there. Let's sure. give him a chance. Okay. okay. Good. Motion, gentlemen. Make a yeah. motion. I move the board motion to approve the change on a three-month trial basis to the restricted music license for JT's Pub to include live acoustic band music. Second. Second. Further discussion. Mr. Chairman, so it, in the motion it did say live acoustic music. Is so that the motion? That's okay, the fine. That's fine. The I think the license needs to say that. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Right. So, uh, motion second for this session. All in favor? Aye. 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 I'm an aye. Thank Very you. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. At least, Ms. Leonard, this is, these are licenses that we do every year, too. So, we give the third, the 90 day period. If you kind of misbehave, it's going to probably be after we do the renewals right but you know they only have one year so can we withdraw our license whenever if we have numerous complaints on an establishment even though we made that appointment for one year 
Can we withdraw that at any point if, if residents complain to the Board of Selectmen and say this is re absolutely I ridiculous? So. That, I think so. You know, it doesn't matter whether it's that establishment or any establishment that we have with live entertainment or acoustic music. Could we yeah, rescind that? I'll have to I don't check know. I've never looked into it. Mass general law. So uh, because it might be an option as well. That's in the mass general law that we approve those. So I can check into that. I would think we could, if we gave it, we could take it away if there were problems. <coughs> yes. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm assuming, obviously, if we had too many complaints, yes. that we would be able to take I think it's good to notify the people that are applying for it to let them know that that this, this way there they keep any, if there were to be some abuse, they would know and acknowledge that and say, hey, I'm going to lose my license if this can continues knock it off and you know you might have some people that come into your establishment that are just noisy all the time and create problems mm -hmm. all the time and you might have to let them know you can't come back yeah that's true so Could yeah I lose my license and it's good revenue for me right that's it that would be on my list all right next item police chief hire discussion um so we've obviously had a lot of um a lot going on with the the hiring of the new police chief um, and I know in, initially we had talked about potentially having interviews for this meeting um, but we did not get the list from HRD yet so um, I kind of wanted to just see where everybody was um, with where we are in procedure um, I've received questions from the Board of Selectmen and I sent them out to Town Council um, to get some comments back but in the meantime um, in having some discussions with the selectmen, um, there have been a lot of good ideas about how to present the questions. Um, so I wanted to see if the board had an opinion. Um, one of the, the things that came up was um, having a few written questions for the candidates to um, have in advance and um, provide a response, a written response. Um, obviously, I think it's also important to have interviews um, live mm -hmm. on nice, TV nice. so that the public can hear the answers and you can see how they respond um, on the fly to um, questions. But um, there was a good point made that you know the new chief would also be responsible for um, filling out forms and, and having mm -hmm. good written content as well, being able to express themselves well um, in I a like written that. format. I like, yeah, I like the idea. So, um, Obviously, you know, if we're going to plan on interviews at a, f a later meeting, if we want to get out some written questions, um, we could do so sooner and have our responses um, in advance of those. So we interviews. have proposed written questions ahead of time. So my thought was. It was one of you that wasn't me. That wasn't my. Well, we um, were all there. <coughs> one week. of one of my. Um, I've got my questions in, but mine were intended to be asked directly. Mm -hmm. So if if it works, I could send the list to each of you separately, and if. If you wanted to let me know, hey, one or I don't know how many questions you think would work for written. Um, two for written. Um, two, three. I, three. I mean, if I had written four or five, no, no, with answers no longer than two pages long, that I think needs to be defined on yeah, people answering that, a question. Yeah. So I got uh, I wrote four or five essay questions, a couple of verbal questions for the open meeting when we do it, um, and you know, the answer's no longer than two pages, right? Uh, I know that there's a specific question I asked that's got four parts to it, um, and it's 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 gonna be lengthy in nature, but we don't wanna be reading six pages no, of somebody's right. answer. I think right. Right. It's it's nice if we did four essay questions, yeah. let's just say it's four, and each one of the answers from the individuals are two pages, that's eight pages That in times three, that's 24 pages wow. the board's going to review. Yep. Right. So I think that that's why you have to limit the, the, the length of an answer, which I think two pages is ample for that. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, four or five questions, you know, whatever we want to decide will be the four or five essay questions type thing, written questions. Mm -hmm. um, and then we'll schedule a meeting and, and we'll, the board will take it back and do, we'll get the responses. They'll submit back to you, Ms. Hebert. I would imagine that we submit the questions to the candidates at a certain deadline. I have yeah. actually went through the calendar and made, come up with some deadlines, but if we did that, we do that. And then they have 10 days to give us back their answers for their four or five questions, whatever the board decides to go about doing. Um, and that'll give us some time to uh, review their answers and then yep. meet on the last week, October 28th to the 31st. So, um, you know, we could have them in um, for their verbal questions in that week, the October 28th to 31st. So that's a Monday through Thursday. Mm -hmm. We can schedule a meeting anytime that we would like that, that accommodates the three sergeants that'll be coming in before us. 
um, and you know we could have all of our you know thoughts written down on the four essay questions or whatever amount of essay questions we do um, and you know that'll already be gathered by each member of the board and then it's just basically two questions shot off to each one of these um, sergeants that are replied and, and we'll you know come to a consensus and hopefully uh, exactly. wrap it up could right. you could you circulate the questions that we, we all submitted questions yes. could you circulate those to the group and maybe we can and I don't know what that totals how many questions are in total but can we I like the idea of the uh, of um, direct questions to the candidates right. mm -hmm. yeah. and maybe we as a group can decide how many of those yes. questions if we've got a dozen between us yeah. maybe we oh, just yeah. yeah you know maybe we decide that it's you know when Two from I'm, each of I'm those thinking with the, you know the, the candidate when we've got somebody at the microphone that we limit that to you know 30 minutes or mm -hmm. we, we a defined time period and maybe a defined time period per question so mm -hmm. we don't have a candidate we say 30 minutes maximum but they're not on question one and they're 27 minutes in so mm -hmm. right yeah so we run, a, we run a timer off each question and um, we also evaluate their written responses but I think we should start with circulate all of them yeah. and as a group we'll get back to Mrs. Hebert with um, these are the ones that I think should are important, right. and, and maybe we can, right. we can maybe we can. Yeah, if, if you can let me know which ones you think would be better in a written response. Yep. Um, and then that way, you know, like that, I could if it, once everyone comes together and we agree, you know, this number of questions will be written. I can um, send that out to the candidates. Let me ask this: Is is so three candidates? Is thirty minutes a candidate for the interview? Is that appropriate, or what time would you prefer? I I. I you want to go? You want to well, go. I can live with 30 minutes. I think that gives everyone. Yeah, for be at be 15 minutes, answer to each question. No, 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 no. no, no. We'll There's decide that as well. Questions. So, so right. let's oh, let's start with the total. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think I think that the four essay questions, when the board is trying to choose the, if we're going to go with four essay questions to make it, you know, a little bit easier. Um, if the board's going to go with four essay questions, um, and then two verbal questions what 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 discussion is at hand I you know I think that we could say it's 15 minutes and, and, and the board should pick the two questions that we're going to ask well, why two, why two? Well, that's two, two questions per two slide two. board I'm no like two questions total is what you're proposing or? for the for the verbal for right the, for I, I didn't I, I mean we could do more than that it doesn't have to be two it, okay we get four fine. minutes I, that's fine. I was just using two as a number because yeah, no, if we're only going four essay questions or uh, five whatever we decide we're going to do okay um then you know you want to limit it, it just keeps the meeting a little bit easier on everybody I like a combination of I like a combination of both, both. I feel yeah. like more than more than two at the mic might be tens too many Maybe more than two. I'm thinking two, three, four, or something. But I was it depends on what the questions are. It depends on the questions. Right. Well, yeah. uh, oh, two so for selectmen. I was saying two had, questions for the yeah. whole board. Yeah, two for the whole board. Yeah, yeah. That's I'm thinking for the whole board. We've got the same questions for the whole board. Mm -hmm. So what I had sent to the um, town council, I had taken all of your questions. Some had a few more than others, but I I did pick two from each. Um, segment, so I had six total. I so we're thinking six live questions. Well, I had six total questions because okay. again, some of them I combined a little bit, you know, because we were together. All the same thing. So yeah. yeah right. um, so they some of them might might be a little more lengthy than others, but I can always separate out some of those questions if you want them separated. But I have. So we're going to look so at the far. list, try to define yep. what four do we yeah. want for. Let's make this. Do we want four questions essay? Yep. I'll make a motion now for the the essay part four questions long. Well, let's, let's can I suggest well, that we look at what the questions are before we decipher? Let's let's look at, let's look at the questions. That okay. may be appropriate, Mr. Gasper. But yeah, no, I understand. Let's let's look at the yeah. questions first, and when once we've looked at them, I think Digest let's all look ones. at them. These are okay. the questions, and then we'll we'll submit it to you and say this is appropriate as essay, this is appropriate as hmm. as okay. verbal. Yeah. And, yeah, very good. And and yeah, we may good. we may end up where you're suggesting, but let's look at what the questions are first. Okay. 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 And do we have we, do we have to wait for uh, town council to say, come back to well, us? Well, there's that too. Yeah. So so he's he's getting comments back to me. Any uh, on our questions? On yeah. the questions. Uh, yeah. Well, sure well, when's that going to be done? I, I should have it. Hopefully. I should have it no later than tomorrow morning. Okay. Because I I did some dead, I did some dates and I was I was looking to actually see if the board wanted to meet on Friday October 11th, which would be this Friday, um, to announce the questions that will require written answers. And I think we um, need to get those out quickly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, and then, and then I, so I, I Mr. Chairman, if I, can, I did some deadlines, and then the questions for the packets will be available for pickup by the candidates at 11 a.m. Can't be Monday because it's a holiday, so Tuesday at 9 a.m. 
at the Board of Selectmen's office. They can pick up, the three candidates can pick up their questionable packages. And then the candidates have until October 24th to return to the Board of Selectmen by 11 a.m., the same time frame. Um, that gives them 10 days for the response for how many questions we're going to ask for, or six, whatever it comes down to. Um, can you get those around tomorrow? Yeah. And then, the, and, and and then we meet the 28th to October 31st, and we name a chief to start on November 4th because the chief's retirement November 3rd, so he's technically responsible to November 3rd, and then the new chief needs to have his appointment made and be official so that he can be the acting chief as of 12.01 a.m. I could meet the Monday. morning of the 11th if we want to so figure I got out the questions morning Friday morning. morning. You think you can yep. get us? Absolutely. You can. Yeah. Can you send us just a, a the copy of the questions the yeah. way it was sent to the town council? We can start to get an idea. I know yeah. they might be manipulated a little bit, mm -hmm. like draft out over a little bit. Like I said, my question was four parts, and one yes. of them in the four parts, I'll just say it because I'm not asking the question. I'm just going to say what well, one of my four parts is budgeting. So it's one of the other two guys might have talked about budgeting. Yeah. So I told Miss Hebert, mm -hmm. all I got to do is it's A B C D. I'll just take out C. It's A B C again, and it's only three part question, right. one question. So so let's let's get those around. Uh, I can get you the questions tomorrow. Get them tomorrow. Let's okay. meet. Okay. Let's Friday meet. Morning. Uh, Friday morning. Friday morning. Eight thirty. Okay. That's fine with yeah. me. Eight thirty. Friday morning. Eight thirty. This let's Friday morning. Eight thirty. Let's try to get out in an hour. Is that reasonable? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, all we're yeah. gonna do, all we're doing, is meaning to announce the questions because that has to be done publicly, right? Yep. Um, and then they can come in the following Tuesday because we have to draft the questions. I don't know if you're going to have them already drafted. So let's just keep a schedule for the for everybody yeah. to be equal. So somebody ain't coming in on a Friday complaining that they didn't get the questions at the same time another candidate did. So you have to announce that time frame to keep it all official and equal for all parts. Um, so one thing I would suggest, the questions that we're asking verbally, I'd rather not have those. There you go. Disclosed. Rather right. not have those that's, disclosed. That's I'd correct. I'd rather have somebody responding. Instantaneously. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. I was thinking the same exact thing. So Two questions. The red right? ones, absolutely. Think about it. But but right. but the other ones, I guess you got to you oh, got to respond. You got to you got to jump. You got to respond. So to Friday, we'll decide what questions. Yep. Correct. And well, we'll try to give that to Miss Hebert before, so there's not yes. all this yep. rigmarole going on on camera. Yep. Now, this is the question, you know, this is, so we'll work through that with Miss Hebert. She can have it all printed up for Friday. So, Miss Leonard, you have to post a meeting for. Ooh, wait a minute. Wednesday yeah, morning. Yep. Tomorrow morning. Yeah, yeah, Friday, by eight thirty. Yeah. By eight thirty tomorrow morning. She has to post it. Be legit. For Friday morning, eight thirty. Okay. Okay. And then Monday's a holiday, so you know Tuesday they can come in at eleven a.m. We'll announce that on Friday if that's what the board wants to officially go with. Is the eleven o'clock deadline? They return it back on October twenty fourth. Gives them ten days to respond. Everything will pretty much fall into sync, and we meet again. What, and when are we doing? When are we doing interviews? When are we? October going? any day, October twenty eighth to the thirty first. We make a decision on that day. We're scheduled on the 29th. But that's is that a regular schedule? That's a regular schedule. Not a, so this is a totally separate meeting. I don't think we should be doing questions for police chief hiring a police chief on the same night we're doing regular business. Well, do we have? It depends what our agenda looks like on that night. We could if we could limit the agenda to just this topic. You can get rid of it and then put them last. Mm -hmm. So we're not mm -hmm. trying to Get deal with all that. Keep, it, keep the agenda light. I yeah. would like to stay as focused as I can yeah. on the questions yeah. and the answers Absolutely. at hand. This is a big position that we're, yes. we're, we're the biggest so let's, for the board. let's try that. Let's try the tw let's see if we can get it 29th. If it's looking like that agenda is going to be too heavy, then we'll schedule another meeting for that week. All right. All right. So good. let's just. So we're good. So Friday, October 11th, we're having a meeting at 11. Yep. We're going to get some questions. 30 a.m. 8.30 a.m. We're going to come yes. up with some questions. They'll be available to be... Picked up on Tuesday at 9 a.m. Tuesday the 15th at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. gave you a <coughs> We've got to get them yeah, back to, to us by, by October 24th at 11 a.m. October 24th, so that's, that's 10, 10 days. days. Yep. That's legit. That gives us the weekend to look at it. The 29th, conceivably, bring them in to... And when they when the responses come in, get them out to us as quickly as possible. Obviously, what's the twenty fourth? Twenty fourth is a Thursday. Thursday. So then, the, it gives, I mean, it gives the board plenty of time. You got yeah, Thursday absolutely. night. I mean, yeah. you got Friday, Friday Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, yeah. Monday, and Tuesday. And if not, we'll meet on Wednesday, hopefully the latest, so that we can. When Miss Heeman, when we make the appointment, if we do the appointment on just let's just call it anywhere between the twenty eighth and the last week of October, mm -hmm. is it is it officially start that day? You can make the appointment for a specific start date. Right, but there's no other hang up in the process, is what I'm trying to say. The contract the board goes through this. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah which you right. do the contract. Well, you can make right. the appointment upon, you know. Contract approval. Yeah. 
contract negotiations, which then yes. we are allowed to go into executive session for right. under contract right. strategy to negotiate with whoever we make right. appointments. Right, because you, once you agree to hire one That's of the correct. police officers, they're going to come back and they're going to say, well, maybe I want this, maybe I want that. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Oh, right. of course, the, the chief's contract is going to absolutely come into play. Mm -hmm. And to be yeah. fair, we have to. 10, 15. To do what we have to do, but I think it's fair giving them ten days from the time they pick up the questions. Right. It oh, gives us sure. it gives this year because Friday's a short day, so it gives a little bit of time to yeah. after we have our meeting to format the questions. You know, put them in a sealed envelope. They can each come in and pick it. Should just be on one piece of paper if it's only four or five questions, right? Mm -hmm. um, and they come in and respond. And again, you know, no longer than answers, no longer than two pages. Yep. Front that means front and back, not two pages front and back, front and back. You follow me? No, yeah. Two, two page front side of each. Front side. Front right. side. Okay. Right. Yeah, front and, and back. However, they want to do it. Front. Twelve. Twelve font. You know what I mean? Twelve oh. font. Well, yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Maybe, maybe a word limit would be better than a word limit than a page limit. We'll fit, let's look at the question. I don't we'll know. Figure that. We'll figure I don't know how I many just, words you can fit into an answer. If, I mean, uh, they'll do whatever, whatever they want to structure. Okay. That's the whole part of the written part is for yeah, us. Yeah, but to, then, but if you force it onto two pages, then. It's just like I get five. I can get anything you need on two pages. No, but you just set a font size. It depends. That's, that's right, what they yeah, do right, now. Right. Right. They, they type it or right. handwrite it. Who knows what they're going to do? That's no, it better not be handwritten. That's up to the candidates, Mr. Cabral. That's for us to judge. Handwritten is not yeah. going to be judged well. Well, unless they have good penmanship. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. okay. All right, I got it. All right, so let's go back to the agenda. Okay, great. All right, so uh, police chief hire discussion. Are we good to move on? Yes, I, think I, I like the plan. I'm good. Like yeah, the plan. Yeah. All right. So uh, item five is the veterans housing project. I, and he was in at our last meeting. And I, I thought we were waiting for something from yeah. him before we so take the next step. Is yeah, that, so mm -hmm. so we can table this. I, I reached out to him, but I didn't get any documents back from him yet. I know um, he was going to send information so that we could um, put in a vote if we wanted them to apply for the CDAC grant on our behalf. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I didn't get anything back from them, so we could put that on the next yeah, meeting. Yeah, let's put it. He, he I think it would be a pretty right? easy right. Thing, right. Yeah. yeah, I think that's what it was. But we had said, you know what, because the CDAC grant allowed them to go forward and bring somebody in here that would give us the, the scope of the project right. more in, in, in costs associated with what needs to be done. And we talked about lead and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. If it needed to be remediated, it would be costly. So that CDAC grant, there would be no cost <coughs> out of poison or a cushion it. Right. Um, let them go ahead with that, come back and tell us, hey, you know what, they're scratching their heads, this don't look good, or oh, hey, everything looks good, and no, we don't have any problems, and you know, this is the actual cost, and then the board ultimately will make a decision, I would hope, right, on whether or not mm -hmm. to move forward with that, or right. just outright put the property off for sale. But he was doing, he was doing something. We were waiting for him. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. Right. Right. You would, you so would ask him to. Him really you would ask him to. Yeah. 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 All right. So yeah. let's, let's defer yeah, to the future. Really yeah. and, uh, All right, moving on to new business. Um, Ms. Hebert needs some, uh, we need to appoint her as the parking clerk and to the safety committee uh, with her interim town administrator um, responsibility. responsibility. She should have an official position on those committees, so we need to appoint her as a parking clerk and as uh, to the safety committee. So Ms. could I get motions for Mr. Chairman, I'll make, a, I'll make a motion to appoint Ms. Julie Hebert, the, actor, the acting interim town administrator to the parking officer, safety committee, energy committee, and the soil conservation board, because those are all four Mr. Noble served on. So I added two. We only have yeah. forms for two of them. Out yeah, of the soil, soil's meeting soon, actually. Soil the conservation board yeah. and energy committee, Mr. Noble's okay. on. So to get him off all four that he was appointed to, I'm pretty sure I'm not missing any yeah, miscellaneous. I made, a, I made the new Just make sure that the board will have to sign those okay. as well. Okay. Good. Is there a second no, to that motion? I'll second motion. Further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Sorry, Julie. Hi. <laughs> um, on second under new business is a senior property tax deferral. The information was um, previously distributed. I think we took action on one of these at the last meeting. We've got a request um, this meeting as well. This is not a waiver of the taxes. This is a deferral of the taxes. And right. there's a qualification process. So the information is be sub mm -hmm. submitted. Um, I think it's, is it real estate taxes or sewer? No, it's sewer. Is it sewer? If it's on a DBW, it's sewer. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
two of that amendment fortune. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion to approve the assessment deferral as presented in accordance with Chapter 80S 13B. And I'll second that motion. Further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? That passes. Okay, thank you. Um, back to the agenda. Department of Public Works, nothing. Town Administrator's report. Um, I don't have anything. That's, that's <laughs> fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um, there's a lot going on, but I don't really have anything to, to bring today. Um, selectman announcements. I've got one. Um, I did meet with the mayor in Bedford. Um, Mr. Career, our health agent, and uh, Merrily Kelly, our conservation agent, attended the meeting, met with the mayor and a member of his staff. And I, I missed the name of the person. It might have been a conservation person to talk about Lake Street mm -hmm. and what's going on with Lake Street. And um, my impression was it's sort of been out of sight, out of mind. Um, you know, the mayor asked the question, what would you like us to do? And I, you know, option one is it's your property. We'd like to have you maintain it. Mm -hmm. um, option two is if you, you know, you'd like us to take it off your hands, we'd consider that. Um, good conversation, left it, uh, left it with the city of New Bedford to look at Lake Street and evaluate what their options are. Um, and I don't want to discuss this a lot because this wasn't an agenda item, but I'm just, just relaying the results of that meeting. Right. So, um, very receptive, very positive meeting, and um, I don't think that they were entirely aware of what's happening to the ponds on Lake Street. So the mayor agreed to the appropriate people in his government mm -hmm. with looking at Lake Street and figuring out what the appropriate action would be. I expect to hear from them again, and we'll figure out next steps. And offered you know, our full support if they want to work jointly, whatever. Right, but, right. absolutely. Um, no, that's good. Um, right. And again, this is, not, this is not an agenda item for us. So I don't want to spend a lot of time talking about it. But that's fine. I just wanted the two of you aware of what's going on. And if you'd like to make this an agenda item, I'd, I'd love to do that. But a lot of resident feedback on the Lake Street Ponds. And I yeah. think, we need, oh, yeah. to, I think so, we, need, huh? we need to elevate it. So, yeah, sure. So um, why don't we, I think we'd be prudent to wait and see if we kind of, you know, give it 30 yeah. days or yeah. 40 days or 50 days or whatever for the city to try to go out there. I'm sure they're going to go out there and take a look at the situation yeah. so they can give an honest assessment to the mayor right. and say, look, you know, it's, but, you know, Mr. Tomorrow. DeRoche, great, great pictures. Thank you. And I, I printed those. Mr. DeRoche uh, sent a drone up into the air mm -hmm. and took aerial shots of most of the ponds, if not all of them. And I, I printed those and put those in. The pic what I printed didn't do the shots justice. When I was printing them, I looked at them like, wow, the quality of these pictures, yeah. wow. So, um, so you know they had they had a visual showing what yeah, was right, you know exactly. from from whatever 100 feet or whatever the mm -hmm. drone was up you know looking down so um so more to, more to come on that okay right. one question this i have um during the winter does Marley feel like the leak ads would like decrease? they die, in the winter. They right. die. Yeah. Say, would they decrease so i mean mm -hmm. well they die what the apparent what i'm told is they die but when they die, they decompose and they form a layer on the bottom, which okay. just brings the weeds up higher the year after. And I'm, I'm probably not explaining that well, yeah. but, but the fact that they die is not helpful. They come back stronger the okay. year after That's because the, 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 there's, there's more junk on the bottom that becomes mm -hmm. seeds or fertilizer. So a couple of years base. ago, we talked about those uh, lily pads being a problem. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know this, there's like winterized treatments that they could do. They actually float the stuff on the ice. So when it thaws, it drops right down into the ponds um, and takes care of So there's multiple ways of treating this situation. Yeah. We just have to see what the city like wants to right. So right. we'll wait and see what the city okay. responds back to you, Mr. Cabral. Um, next meeting is this Friday, 8.30 a.m. Mr. Chairman, can I... Meeting after that, that is notes. Tuesday, October 29th. Yeah, I'm sorry, Mr. Gasper, go. I, I, we, last week we talked about this municipal... Um, Ms. Ms. Hebert actually brought it to the attention of the board of the Municipal Vulnerability Preparedness Program. Um, I, I've been spending a little bit of time doing some research on it, and I, I just like to bring it out to the board and, and make a recommendation to the board is maybe we should be exploring, um, if at all, any possibility for future sewer expansion under the, um, they call it MVP, it's kind of a funny name for it, but <laughs> you know, it's called Municipal Vulnerability Preparedness, so I'm, 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 I'm asking the board if they would like to spend some time while Ms. Hebert and I can explore some options and maybe possibly see if Kathy Silva, if, we, if Ms. Hebert and I would like to just ask um, 
Kathy Silva to contact DEP and maybe uh, our engineering firm Woodward and Curran and see if they know of anybody else that's kind of going after this grant for these purposes. I think it, you know, even if it, even if it is, if, say it's approved and even if it's 500 bucks per household on a future sewer betterment, it's 500 bucks off the total project, right? And any way we can bring the scope of this project down in cost, um, I think when we try to make the sales pitch to residents, if that day ever comes for future sewer by this board, I think it'll be a little bit easier. The more, you know, bonuses that we can throw into the equation, I think the better off this board would be. When is the CMR done? C it's October. WMP. Yeah. So what is it? CWMP. CWMP. Yeah. I had the wrong letters. When is it? Um, so we sh it, it should be done relatively soon. I know we, they're, we've they're had, working we've been talking on about October, so it's... Yep, so they're working on a it's drafting. October. It's October. I know. Yep, so they're working on a draft, and I think I think that we should have a draft. I think we might even have it now um, to look through. Um, but I know that there's also a process that goes along with it. So um, we get the draft, we look through it, we make our comments, um, and the um, engineering so firm. That well. Yes, the engineering firm um, has to um, submit it to um, I forget the agency now, but there's an agency where. Uh, basically, it gets posted, and um, any other agency that might be relevant can review it to see if they have any comments about our plan, if they have any concerns. Um, and once they, I, I want to say it's like a 30-day period that it stays open, and then once they have, have all the comments, um, any comments would be um, included into the plan um, if relevant, and that, that at that point they would finalize it and file it for us on our behalf. So, um, so yes, this is definitely something that we would be looking at um and i'd like our source summit when we've got the draft yeah it, it's funny I like that there's a lot of stuff that's happening at the same time and, and at the same time there are so many of these grants you know the mvp one is a, a big one um especially where um there's two phases the planning phase is the first one so we have to we have to go down the planning route first um and come up with our plan but once we have a plan they have action grants and the action grants can be up to two million dollars per round for the for each town, so um, we were looking at that as a possible avenue for the sewer Huge. expansion. Yeah, it would be but if, any, if it's allowed. Yes, if it's allowed. And, and anything right. that we could do. And you're right, Mr. Cabral. It, so I didn't mention the CWMP, but obviously I've been a proponent of the CWMP. I was at town meeting, getting it approved several years back, um, and thank you to all the taxpayers that did that, so, so that we could move forward with sewer. Um, so you know, it's just an extension. I was looking at it and saying, you know what, well, let's look at what what are we what can we use money for, and uh, you know, sewer. I mean, some of the numbers that they put on the sewer project, we don't know. I, you know, I've been an advocate of doing in-house projects, so you know, and we've been successful with that. Now, sewer, we'll have to have that discussion once we get mm -hmm. the CWMP. So I, I just want to kind of start sniffing around and seeing if that's something that maybe we could go after this yep. grant money, and if we if we could, yep. it's almost like. In the 70s, they did the, we're locked in with the city of New Bedford on sewer. That's why they can't really scramble the rate. It's because in the 70s, we acted on a federal grant and we're tied to the city. So they can't, you know, raise the rate outside of an you know, extraordinary amount. They're tied to us. And there was federal grant money applied to that sewer project. So I kind of started thinking in that form and maybe this would be something that the board could yes. go after as far as funding goes and so we, help so, us out. So they did just open up the MVP grant. Um, I think it was this past week. So um, I do know that Henry is working on it um, to get our application together, um, and he'll be following up with us next week um, because the, it, it's not competitive the planning part. Um, but he does have to get you know some letters of interest from different departments. So um, we discussed that today at our department meeting, and um, we'll have everything available for next week. So again, the planning part is easy. It's it's. It's not competitive. We will get the grant to have a vendor come in and sit with us and come up with a plan. Um, but when we're doing the planning, I think sewer is definitely a big thing that would be a part of our plan. Um, once we complete the plan and submit it to them, we become certified, a certified MVP community. And at that point, we can go out for action grants. The action grants, um, right now they're doing them twice a year. So I know in the spring, they would be um, posting new grants a new round of grants to apply for. So if we could get this done early, we could apply for grants sure. in the spring, um, sure. an action grant for something like sewer. Um, and I think, yeah, as, as we're you know, getting the final um, figures for CW, CWMP, um, we need to be creative. Um, I've seen a lot of grants like this come through and a lot of grants, it, it, it's a matter of how you word it and 
how you can relate it to whatever the grant is for that you might end up getting funding that you didn't think you could get originally. Um, so I'm with you. I think we need to look at every avenue, see how we can you know twist things to see if it will fit to help us with the sewer because it's going to be a big project and um, we want to make sure that we cut as many costs as we can for. And I wasn't joking last meeting about the, the same grant about the lily pads either. If we can, I'm thinking, yeah. that, that, I'm, we I'm can. thinking that that would probably be an ideal project, to be honest with you. So, yeah. to, you know, let's see what the city, right. we're in the process of doing the MVP grant. Uh, obviously, yeah. you said Mr. Young is going to do some yep. some planning things, and we can put a couple of projects that we want in, you know, the mosquitoes, the lily pad thing is a mosquito haven. Yeah. So maybe we can work yeah. with the so city. Part of the, the city we might, had was I know the grants city, available to deal with. I know the, the city's doing a lot yeah. with the complete yeah. street grants, right? So yeah. they're doing a lot of um, sidewalks and curbings and roads and stuff like that. So they're, they're always out there. They're a big city. They need the money, um, just like we do. But they're out there. They're huge. Yep. Um, their projects are uh, 10 times the scale of a Kushnitz. So they're probably chasing every dollar that they can. So maybe in coordination, Mr. Cabral, if you have, have an opportunity to meet with the conservation mm -hmm. from the Bethan. I forgot the woman's name, too. I've had meetings with her. I think that nice, might have been the woman nice, meeting. But I'm nice lady. Sure. Yeah. Um, and maybe you can ask her about the MVP. It's kind of easy to remember, yeah. right? Yeah. MVP um, grant program. Well, hopefully, I'll, that. hopefully, be hearing from them soon as right. they look and at Main Street. Maybe in collaboration, you know, if, yeah. if they do it, they might do it all full scale out of that grant, yeah. but at least throw it out to them so that they're thinking, hey, yeah, we didn't think of that. But is it two million per project or is it two million per, per town, year? No, per town. Per, town? Per, per, per town. Per like grant round. So, oh, so, so if they're doing it twice a year, technically, I guess you could get two million and then two million, depending on what your project is. But that the action grant is competitive. Um, but I will say, because what you just said um, triggered me. Um, I That's think, what I'm supposed to do. So, mm -hmm. so when when I went to the meeting about these action grants, they do look for people to regionalize. So if there are two communities that are MVP wow. certified, and you come up with a joint proposal for like a regional plan, they look more favorably upon that too. Right. Right. And I think, and then I think the limit goes higher, so it could be like up to four million dollars for that project. But wow. um, they, that is something that would be considered. Great. Good yeah. stuff. Yeah. Great. So right. the questions for the police chief, yep. you're going to shoot them to the email? Yes. You have my good email? Yes. I will send okay. them to your emails. All right. And then you're going to get confirmation from town council because yeah. the board needs to kind of do a good viewing before Friday. Yes. Uh, they, he said a I mean, I have to get out of bed now, but 8.30. 8.30. 8.30. We'll be good. <laughs> so meetings October 11th, October 29th. Uh, anything else? Is there a motion? There's no executive session. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We are adjourned. Okay.